First of all, if you've installed a solid state drive or RAM or anything like that, and now you have a blue screen error, first step, try removing it and restarting the computer. The next step, remove any sort of USB, CD-ROMs, or speakers that could have updated a driver and is now giving you a blue screen error. Now we're going to go over some hardware solutions. We'll go over software ones later. I'm going to unplug my battery. I'm going to make sure my power cord is also uninstalled, and then I'm going to look for an easy access panel to get inside to test my RAM. This is a big cause for blue screen errors. If you don't have an easy access panel, you can look up a disassembly video by your model. Also, the screwdriver I'm using is in the a link for it is in the description down below. I'm going to pull out my arms of these little arms and then pull out my RAM stick one at a time to test it. And then with one installed, I hit my power button. If I still have the blue screen error, I go back into my laptop and I install the one I've removed. And the one that's still installed, I remove that one. Why am I doing this? Because RAM tends to go bad one at a time, like a headlight on a car. So I'm testing to see if I take one out and the blue screen error goes away. So if I still have the blue screen error, no problem, we're moving on to software solutions after this. But if you find that, wow, I took that one RAM stick out and suddenly my blue screen, my blue screen error is gone, then you know you have one bad stick of RAM because you've removed the one RAM stick and now the issue has disappeared. So if you found a bad RAM stick, how do you order a new one? Don't worry, we'll go over some software solutions in a second, but first, how to order it. You look for this part number. It will say something like PC4- then some numbers, or PC3- and then some numbers. You only need the numbers after the dash, but look for this, and then in the description down below, we've provided links to common RAM replacements that are needed, so you can find this number. Then look at the links down below and match it up with the kind of RAM you need to be replaced. Have any questions, go ahead and leave them. Next, on to some software solutions. We're gonna hit power and we're gonna hold down F9 because we're gonna try to enter your recovery manager, which is a nice feature of your ASUS computer. It will look like that and wait for the blue screen. Because we've tried a couple hardware things at this point, so now we're gonna go over your software and we're gonna approach this by trying to reset your computer. I know it's sad, you lose some files, but I'm trying to save a computer here. And this is unfortunately the next step in the troubleshooting method. Okay, so now I've hit that blue screen that I'm waiting for. So once you get to this screen, hit troubleshoot, reset this PC. We're gonna do the remove everything. You could try the keep my files option. It does occasionally work. So you gotta always try that first. Uh, but if it doesn't work, remove everything is really the, the more likely fix. So now that we're going to reach this screen, it's going to ask you again to make sure that you really want to delete everything. Now, as a shout out, if you try fully cleaning the drive, that's what we're going to hit. And it just won't do it or it continues not to work. Like say it crashes halfway through the reset or you find that it still has a blue screen error. It might be that you just need a fresh install of Windows. Unfortunately, sometimes the operating system gets to the point where it's so corrupt, it just needs a fresh install. We have a video down below that shows you how to do that. Install a hard drive and do the fresh ins install. You can skip the portion on hard drive installation. Now, finally, if all these things don't work, like resetting or installing a fresh operating system. Uh, you try both and it just doesn't work. It could be, we saved as the last thing, it could be that your hard drive is dying. Uh, and by the process of elimination, we figured out that that's the last option. You might wanna try installing a new one. I know not what you wanna hear, um, but one thing is whenever you are replacing these kind of components, you could view it as an opportunity to upgrade to a solid state drive or a larger hard drive. But anyway, that would be the last step in the troubleshooting method. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it in any way helpful, please like and share. If you like do-it-yourself computer repair videos or you're an egghead like us, then go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and one of our certified repair technicians will get back to you. But anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.